Hi, my name's Robin Jones. I'm the artist. I painted these paintings. This one here, uh, painted this painting after eating some mushrooms. Uh, it's got a lot of blue, yellow, red, white. It's a Japanese, no, Italian white paint, oil paint, and, uh, it's got a pyramid, this uh, strange mythological figure here. He's on stilts. And uh, a man thinking here is, you can see how, how thick the paint is. Uh, this one is an abstract piece, uh, oil on canvas. That one is oil on linen. This is oil on canvas. Abstract, uh, painted 2023, and uh, using a formula to apply the paint, I'm able to come up with these colors. Yeah, so that's abstract. Here we have the landscape. This was uh, originally much more surface on it, and I scraped it off. Uh, with a uh, squeegee and uh, etched in these lines and it's a landscape I had a vision of up in Queensville. This one is a uh, found painting uh, at Alternative Arts in Toronto. Sometimes he puts out some some stuff people don't want. He puts it out front and people come and go and take it. And this one was of a bird, and uh, I did. I embellished it with these uh, acrylics and oils. Here we have uh, North Chinatown, just north of Chinatown. Uh, it's, I did a video of this. It's on YouTube, and uh, yeah, lots of surface on, lots of relief on the, the with the oil paint. And here we have a Mexican market one, but it's kind of like a classic one. Uh, like uh, the mar the market picture, it's a photograph, doesn't look exactly like the painting. I've took taken some liberties with the painting, and uh, I just added the white silk screen ink just recently. So a couple, there's a, a couple of females there chatting, having drinks. This place, these are uh, great berries, uh, known for berries. Opulent servings of berries in, in trays uh, they had here, raspberries. And this one, uh, based on uh, native mythology, Turtle Island. Uh, uh, civilization rests on the turtle's back. And it's just a my version of a turtle with uh, some calligraphy and then I, I put these, uh, colored it in here. So oil on panel, wood panel. And here we have a, an abstract I did, it was on a YouTube page. Uh, Samantha and I, I call this one, and uh, cut some wood, custom made frames, like you won't find the size anywhere, and then I've done this abstract painting on it. Here's the other piece. Uh, Completed at the same time, uh, female nude, and uh, it's oil paint, and then the, the sides are painted with acrylic. I had a vision of uh, green and an idea of uh, magenta for the for the frames, for the sides, and this is a model uh, from an OCAD session. 
uh, figure drawing uh, where I uh, had a model pose for was it half an hour or the oil painting took uh, this is based on a figure drawing but the drawing was done very quickly like only five second poses maybe 10 second 20 second poses here is a uh, Queensville, the view of Queensville from the, the back, uh, uh, from the backyard up at my dad's house. And again, so landscape. And I actually stepped on this canvas and I thought, oh no, what am I going to do? And I think I've made it better. There's where I stepped on it. And I cut it out. And then I cut this pattern on the, on the canvas. And I uh, glued it to a wood panel, 18 by 24. And uh, yes, that's Queensville down in the back. Here is up north in uh, Algonquin Park. I went on a camping trip with my brother and uh, did, did a series of drawings. And this is a oil painting based on the drawing, uh, water soluble oils. And here's a series of Van Gogh uh, inspired work, uh, Starry Night. And I have a theory that Van Gogh's ear was severed by Gauguin and he was shot by the kid René Secretan who got the gun from the inn where he was staying. That's another matter completely. This is a, well, uh, and again, I've been, Van Gogh embellished the, the church steeple and here I've done, made it huge. And uh, tried to copy those uh, the way Van Gogh did the the the, the moon and the stars. And here is an oil painting that was uh, based on a face, and uh, I used a squeegee and embellished, uh, and then use a brush to color it in. Uh, this is oil on linen. And here we have a picture of a uh, Queensville General Store as I know it. This is uh, the general store where I grew up. And trying to buy this property here and start a cannabis uh, co-op. Got the frame done at that alternative arts place in Toronto and uh, they do good work. Here's another Van Gogh uh, copy. Uh, wheat field in Cyprus and uh, I've used quite a lot of oil paint on this one and took certain liberties with Van Gogh's composition Uh, here's a uh, strange painting. I'm not sure what to say about this painting. Maybe I'll just say it's untitled. All right. Here we have a self-portrait I did when I just got my hair cut. I have long hair now, so I don't look anything like this. But, uh... I worked on it for many years and uh, I stretched the canvas on the, I made the frame myself and then stretched the canvas on it.
and here's a high park uh, landscape. Now it looks much different when you shine a light on it. it makes uh, the uh, metallic paint uh, glow a bit. And originally I painted this all at once and then I added the uh, metallic orange and metallic uh, blue after. And it's supposed to symbolize like the great spirit of life or the spirit of uh, on earth. Uh, here's a painting I just touched up this morning. Not sure, DNA portrait I call this one. Like we're all just chains of DNA and uh, we should let, chains of DNA should uh, all live free and equal across the planet. All right, folks, that's it for today's uh, art video. Stay tuned for more. Like, subscribe, send me your comments. Have a great day.